Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we decided to mosey on out into the galaxy and see what we could find. What we found turned out to be an ominous nightmare corridor with a gigantic monster at the end of it. So, okay, basically, never again don't explore space, got it. And today we're going to pick things up with the Free Star Rangers because yes, our next mission is to break into a private medical facility and steal some personal data off one of the patients. But like, in a good way. Like, I'm not the bad guy here, I'm the good guy. So here we go, back to Narian and we're in orbit around Parla, though... Uh, cannot but notice that yes, though there is one giant private medical star station over here, it's not the only star station around this planet, so... Uh, Okay, while we're passing by, star stations could be really damn cool. Like, that amazing Art Deco casino, that was a star station too. Oh, and spectacular. It turns out to be a shipyard, and... Uh, a shipyard, in fact, that's going to push me over straight into the next level. Be flipping beautiful, and... Uh, in fact, not just any shipyard. A Stroud Eklund shipyard. Okay, this is just so bloody weird uh, that the guy I work for, who's putting up the money for the whole of Constellation, literally owns a ship production facility, and yet I'm going around uh, having to pay money for my ship parts. It's bloody weird. Still, bare minimum, if I had to put a guess in. Here we go, just as I was expecting the really cocking large haps. So, uh, if you want the mega haps, you can't buy them from just, you know, a random shipyard. You've got to actually find uh, a bigger corporate center of each shipbuilder. So, uh, yeah, like I can buy certain Taiyo parts from the Red Mile, uh, but I'm gonna need to find, like, you know, uh, the Taiyo headquarters uh, if I ever want to buy, you know, uh, the 3x2s, 3x3s, all that good stuff. Still, I will say, there are actually a couple of rather suspicious things about this place. For example, there's a security door here that can't be opened. This computer's just a sales computer, just pointing you towards a delivery job. They just want giant piles of lead here, but... Yeah. A secure door that's simply not open. And there's no way to open it. And on top of that, I did just notice next door, everyone in this room, you've got names. But when I tried to speak to you, you guys are saying, oh no, we're busy, come back later or whatnot. I get the feeling that yes, Walter's going to be sending us back here at some point or another. There's more here than I'm seeing right now. Ah yes, and don't forget you did just level up as you were arriving. So, okay, one skill point to spend and uh, I think I know where this one ought to go. Until I've got special projects, I can't really do anything more with my guns. I've already taken, yeah, weapon engineering up to its max rank. So, uh, the sexy stuff is now locked behind special projects. Meaning I now need to just put uh, four more points into the science tree. So, uh, you could argue medicine, given, you know, I am doing a fair bit of healing. So, uh, more healing and also faster. And spacesuit design could also be interesting. But I'm gonna be honest... I feel like chemistry might be the way to go. I'm just getting the feeling that yes, in Starfield, uh, much like in Fallout 4, drugs could be incredibly cocking powerful. So, okay, let's get a little bit of chemistry going on. So, all right, back over to uh, Pharmacological, if you'd be so kind. Let's not worry too much about medical treatment yet. Instead, yes, drugs. I need more cocking drugs. Oh, and this would let me make Paramore. Okay, like, you know, screw downing an entire bottle of Pinot Noir every time a difficult conversation needs to be done. I could just make Paramore, and then conversation's gonna be so much easier, so... Okay, I can't do all of this, but I can do a fair bit, and if I'm lucky, there might be a bit of uh, overflow. So, uh, Polita, that's an existing drug I've already got. There's a bit of overflow, uh, lovely. And that might just be... Ah, oh. well, this is just uh, meant to be right there, so... Uh, I need some more carboxylic acids or whatnot, and uh, I have no idea what infantry alpha is, but it's sharing the same symbol as Hippolyta, suggesting it's a drug, and maybe I have to, like, you know, uh, go and buy drugs to analyse them or something. Oh, well, I tell you what, this is just meant to be. John, you're literally about to go to, you know, a medical facility. If anywhere's going to be selling, well, okay, infantry alpha doesn't necessarily sound like something they sell in a hospital. Like, that feels like, you know, the sort of a performance and anti drug you don't go to a medical centre for. Anyway, let's get back on track here. We've got somebody's medical data to steal, and on top of that, let's see if maybe we can find a dodgy doctor who's willing to sell me some infantry alpha. 
Whatever that is precisely. Oh, and blimey, this place is, yes, bigger than I was expecting. And also, guarded. Right. The fact there are turrets here suggests that this could possibly go a bit nasty. So, okay. Don't speak to anyone just yet. Before we start, you know, uh, putting our foot in it, let's catch up with the ranger. Because apparently, the rangers just get a permanent office aboard the ship. Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Okay, nice to know I'm not, you know, completely on my own out here. Some people are paying attention, so... Yes, indeed, just out of interest. Does he say, like, you know, I'm doing a good job or anything? Well, now, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? It ain't anything bad, if that's what you're wondering. You just keep your mind on the task at hand. Alright, speaking of which, yes, we need to track down a mayor. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? I wish. She's twelve. Well... <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of assuming you'd be able to tell me, but yes. Interesting note about him, of course, I'm guessing because he's the oldest ranger, they might have given him, you know, a nice soft appointment here. Not in Neon or Aquila or anything like that. Give him, you know, a nice cushy office in the medical clinic. Basically, halfway to retirement. So, uh, yes indeed, we're pretty confident she might be here, but honestly we were just kind of... Uh, guessing, based on circumstantial evidence. Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Uh, when that time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Career to go. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Okay, so we've got someone who might be able to help. Ari Miller here, apparently a friend to the Ranger, and... Uh, okay, Sam, we will get to you in a second, all right? We only talked to you like two minutes ago. Chill out. And also, one other thing that, yes, the Ranger was saying. They were the ones that built it, the UC. I remembered this. It was in, yeah, the museum I went through when we signed up with uh, Vanguard. So uh, back when this system was independent, the UC built a great big medical center here. But then these guys decided to flip to Freestar and presumably therefore take the clinic with them, which is why, yes, the UC decided they were not happy with this business. And gotcha. Oh, and hello, Saxon. Just before we get into that, yeah, one of the doctors is just selling bits of aid and... Uh, a stunning infantry alpha, so we'll be having some of that, thank you. And okay, I'm pretty sure I know where Maya's gonna be. There's a secure wing here, you can't crack open no matter what, so right, let's sweet talk Ari and see what we can do. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Okay, I might be able to help with that, I'm actually very good at security, because uh, yes indeed, funny old thing, Oh, that's true person I'm tracking is also a computer expert, so uh, if she wants to not be tracked down, then maybe, just maybe, she might want to mess with the system. Huh. 
Uh, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Okay, so we're yes indeed, Mayor Cruz and... Uh, do you want to say former soldier? I don't know necessarily what side you're going to be on there, so uh, just give the name. Do not, like, you know, qualify it. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? I swear someone mentioned heart. Did someone mention a heart? Someone might have mentioned heart, but bare minimum, yes, it was a fairly sudden emergency and long-term care. So anyone who came in too recently or like, you know, hasn't been here that long. Then again, actually, hang on. How long ago was this? Oh, I should have asked that of, you know, the ship jacket, but I don't know if we actually learnt that. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Why am I suddenly worried that trying to access her data might lead to, like, you know, the turrets turning on me? Also, we're using Excel. Holy flip, that's Excel! You're using an actual okay, spreadsheet! I fucking love it! Oh. No matches found for Amaya Cruz. Okay. No matches, but yeah, I'm deeply worried. The moment we track her down or the right person, these turrets are gonna turn on us. Alright, I fucking know it. If Maya's here, then she's gotta be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. So, okay. Let's start feeding in descriptions. Things that we do know. Yeah. Let me think for a second. Alright, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace. What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Okay, so... Uh... Yes, indeed, security. Let's figure out what's wrong with your system. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. Here we go. Terminal inside the ranger office. Got myself at admin access, though. Okay, by any chance can I see, like, you know, the report about myself here? Okay, not yet, but Dr. Titus Cassidy. I think someone mentioned he was, like, you know, the lead doctor in this facility. People have been going into the VIP wing without authorization. Don't do it, right. Someone's been sneaking past the secure door. Possibly people visiting Maya. And in the security reports, okay, someone's name that's not come up yet. Catalina Rivera. Apparently, yes, she became confrontational and threatened violence. Well, uh, we know May is a soldier. So, you know, that could potentially suggest this could be the right alias. Anyway, for now, let's dig into admin. So, okay, what are we going to do here? Currently active processors, power, memory, file, network manager, fine, but there's something called the Mark IV. Okay, status running, security risk high. Catalina, I cocking knew it. Right, nip into the staff area. Looks like Ari's just wandered off into the storage area for whatever reason. Hello there, Ari. Oh, that's not Ari, but okay, we need to speak to, yes, Dr. Cassidy if I want access to the lovely secret sexy area. Nobody's allowed in without my permission. And I'm not going to give that without a very good reason. Who exactly are you? Okay, so uh, I'm a freestyle ranger. Like, you know... I'm supposed to be allowed to go anywhere, though we were warned that, like, you know, that doesn't always work out in reality. And I require you to respect my authority as a senior doctor here at the clinic. The answer is no. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. There's no progress that bureaucracy can't ruin. Okay, so, ooh. As a fellow doctor, maybe you'd be willing to let me in, sir. Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. Okay, now that I cocking like. The fact that, yeah, security gets me the information I need, and medicine gets me straight in because I'm talking to fellow doctors. Marvelous. Okay, so crack her open. And we've now got to find... Yes, Miss Rivera. 
Just have a nice chat to her and see what's going on. Okay, I get the feeling that something may have gone like, you know, very slightly wrong in here. Also. Oh, cock me, I cocking knew it right. It's the cocking turrets. I knew the turrets were going to have turned on us. Right, doctor's already down. A dear old flipping deer. Just eyes open. I'm guessing anyone around here is already dead. Yes, it would have been. Oh, blimey! Back away, Sam! There was... Okay, Sam didn't get the memo, but there was a minor. Sorry about that. It would appear that, yes. She's presumably GTFO'd. And left behind, uh, yes, hacked turrets that killed doctors. Uh, together with uh, literal landmines. Got it. This will be the terminal she used to hack the system. So just a mosey on in here. Yep, she did something to, like, you know, uh, take control of the system. Disabled that. Lovely. And here we go. The access log. So, uh, Dr. Cassidy, let's see if we can figure out whether, yes, you were in on this or not. So, uh, treatment continues. Issues persist. A prognosis not optimistic. So, uh, right. Yes, you got some news on a curious slate and... Uh, I think even though you were still sick and possibly getting sicker, you decided to naff off anyway. So uh, we need to track down her Shep. She's decided something's going sufficiently wrong. Possibly, in fact, my investigation, that's what she heard about. She decided to leave. Then we have got, yes, her entering codes to access the mainframe. And on top of that, she's stolen an ambulance. And, oh, hang on. I think I remember seeing this on the other terminal. Like, one of the other security notes was, uh, hey, she was found in a serve, which I'm guessing is like, you know, a, a space ambulance. And uh, we've got a destination. Sakharov. I have no idea where Sakharov is, so I hope my navigation computer does. Oh, and speaking of a courier slate, okay, this is it right by the bed. So, uh, Maya, the rangers are on to us. Yes, it's my own investigation that got us so freaked out. So, uh, there we go. Old asteroid mine at Sakharov. Lovely. As we're done here, okay, Sam, what have you got to say to me? Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. Just checking you, dear. All right. I know I woke Cora up. Right, so, yes, how does, like, you know, Cora feel really about not being able to see her mother on a regular basis? Well, up until a few years ago, she kept hoping we'd get back together. I mean, Lillian and I stayed married longer than we should have for Cora's sake. But we really weren't doing Cora any favors there. Unfortunately, yes. It's not the biggest ship. Sorry about that. At one point, I'm going to build a bigger one. But, uh, yes, I'm guessing Cora heard something. Well, that statement's going to keep me up at night. Like, everything, everything? Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian. She's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Now you see, that's kind of interesting, because uh, that sounds like your dad, and you kind of hate your dad for that reason. Like, you know, uh, an obsession with the family name and free star's history. But it sounds like your ex-wife is uh, very similar. And, uh, okay, we're going to keep flirting with Sam as well, obviously. I think we're pretty good together, Mr. Space Cowboy. Oh, don't worry. You're in a category all your own. What was I? But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. So I tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. She was probably right. Okay, so, uh, yes, it is kind of funny, by the way, to just be alternating between uh, flirting uh, very aggressively with Sam uh, and him talking about the sad, inevitable collapse of his marriage. So, uh, yes, indeed. Did she even, like, you know, briefly consider it? Not for a second. And she's right. Lillian is where she's meant to be. She always wants to fight the good fight. And the Rangers are lucky to have her. Okay, so I'm guessing eventually you're going to ask me to go along and, you know, hang out with you while you meet up with her. And uh, 
If I'm still flirting with you at the time, it's going to get really cooking awkward. So, uh, yes indeed. If you were that miserable, it was the right thing to do, Sam. For you and for Cora. Uh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I mentioned the idea you had about maybe Cora staying with Lillian if things got too dangerous. Suddenly she was all excuses. She's always going on that she doesn't see Cora enough. And then I try to take her up on that and yeah, fireworks. Oh dear. So Lillian might be all talk, but when it comes to it and she's asked to step up and be a mum, all of a sudden, she's a deadbeat. Oh dear. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think, Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. Very fair indeed. I do not like Lillian if she is being a bad mother and not being there for her daughter and making her cry. Not okay, Lillian. So... Yes, indeed. What are we going to... Oh. Don't say with us. Like, you know, bit too forward to step into being a mum role, actually. And... Uh, maybe this is not my place. I'm just going to say sorry it's complicated. Yeah, sorry to vent. But, uh... You're a good friend. It really helps to talk it out. Uh, for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Right, so that's um, done for the time being, but that's uh, three conversations with him, which makes me think we're probably pretty close to picking up his ultimate mission, which has got to involve, you know, oh no, Lillian's in trouble, we better go help her in some capacity. Here we go, just down south of Sakharov, apparently I've been here before because I know what's in it, and uh, I think I might remember this system, uh, hang on a second, yeah, I passed by here very briefly before I think. And there we go, there's an old excavation site. Yes, this was the old space station that refused to answer me that I ran into in the asteroid field where all the asteroids were producing iron. I recall this, so right, that's where you guys are hiding. Gotcha. Okay, jump on in and... No immediate sign of trouble, so all right, warm up the engines and let's see what we got. Last time we were passing here, yeah, we hailed the place and... Uh, Literally no one responded. So, alright. Say hi. And once again, nothing. I think we just hit a meteorite, by the way. I'm really sorry if so. So, okay, here we go. We got Vasco right here. Obviously, they're not going to be right at the front door because they want to maintain the illusion that this place is, you know, nice and abandoned and whatnot. So, activate my powers and... Captain uh, Aria. Greetings. I see something alive. Heard your ship, Doc. If you are who I think you are, then you're here to bring me in. I had to horn you. I've had more than enough time to prepare for this. So either you leave now, or I'll be burying what's left of you. Okay. This may not be a straight-up fight or anything. Instead, it might be... Traps. And by the looks of it, yes, we're going to not be able to just go the direct route, because I'm guessing if I touch this... Okay, figured that might hurt, got it. Don't touch, like, you know, uh, flickering electronics. They want 100% been set up to go buzz. So, alright. Keep on keeping on. There's all sorts of a uh, hangabout. Oh! What's going on? Oh! Hello! You're a shard hopper! Which is like, you know, a thing that exists. Sorry about that. Didn't know you guys were here, but honestly, you don't seem that tough. I was about to say. Yes, emergency cuttable wall. Hang about. Cut pens. Cut pens. Oh, that's so cool. Now, what precisely are we looking at here? And the looks of it, understandably, cobalt, would you believe? Oh, together with robots. Sorry, there's also um, there's also robots here. So just pop out. Give them a bit of a knacker. Pop back in. Okay. There are angry robots. She's just repurposed the old robots to serve her. Got it. Okay, deeper and deeper, just jam. Keep your eyes open. There are explosive canisters around here. So 
They could, you know, be used to explode me or could be used to explode other things instead. So, uh, keep on keeping on. And the bracket's green. That means there's no enemies around here. So, for the time being at least, we're okay. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Knock once if you hear us spirits. No? Sam, sometimes I feel like you're not very good at reading yes, you know, the mood of the room and uh-oh. Right, you over there, that is. This was a bad call in terms of weapon choice. That was just not the right weapon, alright? Sniping, it's not my thing. Let's just, you know, get down and see what we can do. Alright, my lovely shotgun will do a competent enough job. Also, John, your star sense is not doing anything right now. In which case, honestly, anti-gravity is not terrible. It's just a good way of basically saying, hey, you don't get to do anything for the time being. So, where's that robot gone? There was definitely a robot round here. Where's that cocking robot? Well, that's a shard hopper, which is like, you know, bad, but honestly not that bad, actually. Sorry, I really feel like, you know, me and you had, like, no argument whatsoever. I'm really sorry about this. Just keep on keeping on. I think Sam's up top, like, you know, sniping down at the moment. I swear there was a robot here. Like, there we go. So you just start floating. That gives me plenty of time to line up the good shots. Oh, yeah. You know what? The basic anti-gravity, it gives you so much time to take out your enemies. It's brilliant. Oh, hang on. We got something going on over here. Including, oh, cock me. There's, um, there's a lot going on all of a sudden. No. No, no, and like, you know, more, no. You're only level 12, so you go down here. Luckily, anything else that walks in also gets negatively affected. You go down to, there's more coming in. Hop out, there's... You've been fatigued by EMP, which suggests possibly like Sam's using EMP right now, which is weird, because... Why would you be doing that? I've no clue why you'd be. Excuse me. Ow. Okay, I think I'm just kind of, you know, shooting myself at the moment. But, okay. Bullets go through this. Go up to... I see you up there, but that's actually, like, you know, not not great, actually. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Now you're dead. Right, there's, there's a lot going on in this bit of the world. Uh, apparently, I need better cover. I need to get up top. Because there's definitely robots up top. And also, oh, God, look at the compass. There's, there's a lot going on. Okay. Crack out the good stuff, okay? This is my good gun. Sam's taken out that one. Then, oh, blimey, what on earth was that? I don't know, but no. No, and apparently I was not. Oh, blimey, something was like zapping me. He had like a zappy beam. Okay, John. John, John, John. Crack out the good healing. It's time to go over to trauma packs. You've got so many of them and they are better. There we go. What the cock is even happening right now? I don't know, but that is looking pretty good right there there's like weird like yes beams and oh right that's um some mining torrent and it's it's bad it's really cocky bad actually okay it's oh cock they're also everywhere take out that one you dead now you're dead just take out you that gives me one safer spot in this room oh cock me right they've got like you know uh, particle beams where they're firing uh, many things at once, aren't they? Okay, John, don't use the good ammo for this. In fact, actually, hang on. The range on this thing's not bad, is it? No, I don't think it's terrible. Okay, just go into here. You know what? It's getting the job done. The problem here was turrets, which I responded to by running straight into the turret. So basically, well done, John. Still, I suspect this might be, you know, the final bit right here. Just crack all of you guys open. And, oh, we've got someone. And apparently, Mayor is not here to play. Right, okay. I'd say, just in case, you know what, John? You carry around all this good stuff. It's time to actually occasionally use it. Just down a quick can of blend. And now, we get to take you out in more delightful colours. So, just out you come. And... Okay, time is passing. Don't forget to go for the head and bang and go for the head. Go for the... Hold, hold still. There we go. Bonus damage to the head. Screw you, Mayor Cruz. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. 
Mayor, are you feeling okay? Because I know something was wrong with you already, but I feel like I might have just made it worse. There we go. Now you're looking a bit better. So, come on, Mayor. Why were you just seizing a random bit of farmland? Is this like revenge against somebody's grandfather or something? That's, the, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. Okay, but... Yes, who hired you and why? <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Oh, that suggests it's going to be like, you know, one of the council of governors, potentially. Let's see if maybe we can get anything out of her. We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! Ah. Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. Okay. So, uh, yes. This feels like it's not just about, you know, seizing a bit of land or whatnot. This is, by the sounds of it, you know, uh, an attack on the entire collective. But what does that mean precisely? Well, we'll have to get back to that. For the time being, yes. Where's my next destination, Mayor? Though I suspect she's not feeling talkative. Yeah. We've got a base, a good one too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Well, you've just told me you spent months there, which means if we could, you know, figure out what your ship is and then track where it moved previously... Okay, that could be a lead to follow, potentially. Look, I'm not here to kill you, alright? Just want to have a nice chat about what's going on. And, like, ideally, get, like, you know, a tablet off you or something. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> okay. Problem is, yes, if I leave her, she could immediately just call up her base and say, Hey, this is the person that's coming. Here's what they do and don't know. Could make my life trickier and also, uh, go on. Tell me more. I want to learn more about what happened to you. I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. It wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. Okay, well now I just feel bad about shooting you in the head with a shotgun a second ago. I'm sorry about that. Look, I just want information, alright? Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna let you be. Do not make me regret it, Maya. So all right, let's mosey on back to the ship and see what we've got back on Aquila. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. No, that was literally all of them. Like, I'm not sure there are any more, so... Okay, Alex, I really hope you've got answers for me at this point. And, oh, blimey, first to fight, first to die. Good mission name. Well, apparently we'll be getting back to you later, because next up instead, we're going to have a chat with... Oh. I think I've just been called into a meeting. Well, that's exciting. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Okay, so on this occasion, yes, it's no longer a shakedown, and they're actually straight up killing people. How's your investigation proceeding? Well, I got a whole bunch of data, and I've given it to Alex, so hopefully he's going to crack the code at some point or another. That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Come on, Emma. You know as well as I do how tough this job is. 
That's exactly my point. When it comes to deciding who earns a ranger's badge, I will not compromise. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Okay, so apparently the game's been keeping an eye on me this entire time to see whether I followed orders. So, okay, I did okay in Hopetown. I feel like, yes, the word from Neon might not be so polite. So, yes, indeed, causing friction with the council. I was trying to avoid that. That's true. Exactly. Dealing with the council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. That's true, but I didn't mean it to end in, you know, quite as much bloodshed as it did. I was hoping to sort it out peacefully. Then he fired on me, like I did not fire first. You got results and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Yes, indeed. It wasn't that bad. I'd literally done it before. It's fine. Is that so? Well, I hope that's not just false bravado. There's nothing wrong with feeling fear. More often than not, it'll keep you alive. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I did shoot him. And it was in part because I wanted to steal his ship, but, um... Yes, like, let's say uh, I tried to persuade him. This is a complete lie. But, like, there were no witnesses there apart from Sam, who's hopefully not gonna snitch on me. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. Okay, so... I feel like they're not going to appreciate the fact I left her alive. Like, in general, Freestar Justice seems to be very harsh, very much instant. Like, I feel like the other Rangers would have just put her down. So, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kinda curious how they respond in the event I say... I just left her to die of natural causes. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. Okay, I feel like my instinct might be spot on here, which is, uh, yeah, 100%. They're trying to get mech production rolling again, and uh, did you guys just quietly leave a couple of mech factories standing and not demolish them? Just in case you ever needed uh, to get, you know, uh, mech production rolling again against the UC, and now that's going to kind of come and bite you in the arse a bit. But yes, by the sounds of it, from your experience in the war, you know where these factories are going to be. The facility was on Arcturus 2. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If the Marshal's right, you could encounter serious resistance. Be prepared. Okay, we were definitely just doing, you know, an evaluation that was getting me a promotion. Can we, like, not forget that, please? Bloody hell, Alex has ruined my promotion. Oh, and cock me on the way out of town. Right, up to this point, I have been using the Calibrated Coachman. But over at Laredo Guns... Uh, oh, guess what they just started selling? It's cocking refined Coachman guns. Oh, I love it. That's at 260 damage up to... Uh, 
0281 with Slug. Right, we're having that right now. Oh, and with just a handful of Tantalum, we could get this up to a 323 damage. That is ludicrous, and I love it. I will say, though, it is just downright weird in this game how when you want resources, it is never faster to go out and, like, you know, mine them. Instead, just go round the shops. It's so fast and cheap. Here we go over on Mars. We've got most of what we need already. Oh, and Jane downstairs, who I helped out with her ship problem. She's got the rest of what we need. Beautiful. And she's even got some Eterbium, because that keeps coming up over and over in weapon engineering. So we've now gone to all the things we need, and if we're very lucky, this will overflow because... Seriously, I cannot find any more of this infantry alpha. I found like one dose so far, no one else is selling it. But seriously, if I could just start mass producing Paramore, that stuff is bloody good. And here we go, down on the, yes, gun side, receiver mods. I've got some polymer and just enough Eterbium. Please overflow. Gosh darn it, we still don't have enough polymer. Okay, pick up some more polymer at some point too. But despite all the research progress, still no cocking tantalum. So it sure is cocking lucky that yes, I can just fast travel straight to New Atlantis and they're selling it there. Okay, seriously, like... If I was doing a balancing and difficulty pass in this game, first thing I'd do would be 10 times the cost, maybe 100 times the cost, on every resource in every shop. Because right now, there is just no incentive to mine when you could just buy. She's even got the cocking polymer too. Right, so just insert some of that into shotgun to make shotgun go boom. Oh yeah, that'll flip it do. And that lets me complete flipping receiver mods too, though. I'm not sure that actually, you know, gives me anything I can do. I think that's possibly for very advanced weapons I've not even got to yet. But yes, one of very few weapons I have that does have the option is the breach. As I should have expected, because the breach was literally on the picture of the research project. So, uh, I could put this over to fully automatic, which is... I mean, I'm going to be honest, kind of hilarious. Because uh, it doesn't actually reduce the damage at all. It just means uh, this thing fires uh, incredibly... I was about to say incredibly fast. Fire rate goes up from 10 to 12.5. I am an underwhelmed game, but okay, maybe we'll give it a go whenever we next get some titanium on board. But you know what? Being back here on New Atlantis has actually reminded okay. me of something, which is uh, something my dear friend Vladimir asked me to do. And that is check in on his house. Oh, bloody hell, the lad really does live on the far side of the galaxy, doesn't he? So, okay, that's it's a bit on the dangerous side. But, like, on the other hand, the jumps there are not that bad, all things considered. Level 35, uh, we could deal with. I am about level 35. Uh, my ship is good. My ship is strong. Uh, let's flip it go. Uh, step one, uh, over to uh, Albertani, apparently. Uh, so, all right, straight in and... No trouble. No one appears to be attempting to murder me. Plenty of planets around here, by the way. No particularly noteworthy points of interest, though hilariously, yes. The moment I've actually gone and bought the Tantalum, straight away, I find a tiny moon that's got Tantalum as one of its three resources. Brilliant. Let's move on to Hyla. So, okay, just straight through here. We're not bothering to, you know, check out any of... John, why on earth is your grav drive powered up this much? Your grav drive should not be powered up this much. Also, I love my tiny ornament just over in the left. Kind of partially obscuring my view. It's brilliant. And... No other ships. Great. Oh, but I tell you what, we've got one more interesting thing here, which is... A, a tiny moon. Barren, temperate, not too bad all things considered. But... There's a meteorite testing site here. That sounds special. Okay, we're going and checking that out while we're passing by. Listen up. You have until I get bored to give us what we want, or we're going to blow you into vacuum and take it anyway. Okay, activate all weaponry. Let's just murder these stupid bastards. They're not that high level. It's only level 18. Right, just a start of speeding up, please. Take out number one. We've got... Oh, there are like three more targets here. 
Uh, okay, this is... Uh, this could be a problem, actually. This could be... Okay, this this could be... Okay, activate boosters to get past them. Please, we need to start taking them out one by... Uh-oh! Oh, we could be in a lot of, um... A lot of trouble, actually. There are, there are many, 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 many people around here. Just, just do everything you can. Faster. Just everything faster. Okay. We might just want to run from those guys. Four of them at level 20 is too much. Okay, accelerate to attack speed. And then just begin activating the murder, okay? Let's just get over to here. Seriously, why are we not locking on? Lock on, please. Just just keep locking on. Anytime you're cooking, ready to lock on. That will be there we go. They figured it out at long last. Just fire everything at you. Shields down. Are you dead? And also, hang on. Where are your friends? Your friends have apparently just, like, not shown up on this occasion, which is really good news. I'm not sure why they haven't shown up, but... Okay. I'll flip and take it. As I was saying, a nice visit to the Meteorite Museum today. Okay, local robots haven't started shooting me yet. That's good news. And also, there's just a floating screen here. Oh, Bethesda games never change. Also, never trust Jazz, like, you know, a, a science area where there are many robots, but no people. Because it normally means the robots have killed the people, like we have seen this before. Sensor malfunction and meteorite sample diagnosis. Last update, over 2,000 days ago. This feels like possibly just, you know, an automated research base that's kind of, you know, just broken over time or something. And then, into the main building. All right. Keep on keeping on. What was going on here precisely? Ah, hang on. That's what the robots are for. Apparently, yes, by the looksy of it. There are meteorite impacts all over this planet. The robots have just been gathering the meteors. And I suspect that's what happened to the bastards who lived here. Okay. Why haven't you been doing as many tests? The forecast data keeps telling us the impacts are happening at a more frequent rate throughout the day. Though the data could be pretty inconsistent with just following protocol. If it continues to be spotty, maybe we'll risk it. What are the odds of being struck by a meteor? Okay. So basically, yes. They decided to go and try and find more meteors to speed up the process, and they were struck by a meteor. Got it. And while there's clearly a guaranteed legendary here, unfortunately, yeah. Without master lock picking or a key card, I can't get in. Oh, and hang on. I think I may have found the end of the story. Right. Just outside the base, there is indeed a scientist who was indeed struck by a meteorite. Giving me on top of that, the key. Oh, you know what? I'll take this just for the cocking armor. We have got an advanced deep seeker balanced pack here. So, uh, balanced boost pack with ridiculously good stats on it. And an advanced deep seeker spacesuit. So way better in terms of defense, though unfortunately not legendary at all. And even some infantry alpha. Though tragically, yes, the legendary is just a single basic rare item with uh, cornered on a rivet gun. I don't really care for that one way or the other. All right, team, we got one more jump to make. And this one is potentially very dangerous if we get it wrong. Both Banok and Banok Secundus. And by the way, if you're going for Latin, then that O should be a U. It should be Secundus, not Secundus, but whatever. Uh, yes. Let's go for basic Banok. Come on, let's not have murder. Okay, just nice and peaceful. No trouble at all, please. Thank you. Right, quiet system and nothing of note. Some good mining, but let's be on our way before trouble shows up. I am not landing on a level 50 system, not just jets. Because now we're almost there. Into, uh, yes, yeah, Surma, apparently. Oh, hang on. Uh, trouble, trouble just showed up. Trouble just showed up. Okay, just put everything into, into grav drives. Uh, more into grav drives. Bye. So long. That was the cooking for rune zealots. Everything's fine. John, don't take power out of your shields when you're running, okay? That was a bad idea. That was that was really dumb, actually. Okay, there's definitely trouble around these parts, and we don't want to mess with it. Oh, this is really nice. Like, it's properly dense forest. Like, I don't appreciate in this game when forest just means, like, you know, a handful of shrubs. But this is proper forest. 
gosh darn it. If his house is nicer than mine, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh, bloody hell, he's got a water feature. I don't have a water feature. I am jealous. I am jealous of this guy right now. Oh, and did I mention he's got, like, you know, two distinct decks? One upstairs on the balcony and one downstairs by the water feature that overlooks the cocking forest that exists on his planet and not on mine. Bloody hell, look at the size of that TV. Okay, this guy's got it figured out. This is a nice house. Like, okay, I need to decorate my house at some point because I am jealous at this point. Oh, but I tell you what, I think I may have found, you know, uh, the interesting bit here, which is uh, down in the basement, he's got an advanced locked door. Oh, Vlad, what is it you were trying to hide from me, buddy? All right, crack this open and... Okay. Weapons. Weapons and research and... Uh... Okay, it's a legendary, but it's space adept. That means, yes, it's better when you're in space. Which is a very bad thing, because seriously, you are not in space that often when it comes to fighting. I guess every silver lining has its cloud. So Vlad made a mint in the fleet, but he can never really let his guard down. I'm not sure if it's worth the trade-off. Oh, that's cute. Sam's actually got, like, you know, something to say in response. So, yes, he may have made, you know, a giant pile of money and bought a really nice house, but he's also got to keep a secret murder basement and... Ooh. The Mutineer. Another cocky space adept weapon, but... Tell you what, for 2.6 mass, 199 is not bad, you know. And I even get a skill magazine for my trouble, so okay. Better buying and selling. Beautiful. And also, perhaps most excitingly of all, I can't help but notice that, um, these succulents appear to be grabbable. Meaning if I just take those back to the ship at this point... Oh yes. Next to, like, you know, the succulents I've got so far, these are massive all oh, this is. Well, this was worth the trip just by itself, damn it. So, okay, I would say having made it deeper into space than we have ever been before, how about we call it apart there? But next time, oh, we are cracking straight on with the Freestar Rangers. We are going to the factory and we are going to test out my sexy new 300 damage shotgun and... Uh, I don't think those bastards are going to like it. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Starfield. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.